Hi guys. How are you all today morning? Good morning. Today is 18th October 2022. My name is T S V Raghavan and I live in Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. I am a published author with Amazon Kindle and paperback. I write on spiritualism, fiction and assorted subjects. Spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject. This is my spiritual vlog on YouTube. Hari bol T R S V Nectar N E C T A R Nectar. In this particular vlog, in my previous videos, we have been discussing about the knowledge and information that we gleaned by study of spiritual books scriptures contemplation on the material universe and meditation on the spiritual universe this particular video is no exception to that rule in fact it is only a continuation of what we have been doing before in my past few videos we have been discussing about the seven heavenly and seven hellish planets we have already discussed six heavenly planets namely the bhuloka the bhuvar loka the swar loka the mahar loka the jana loka and the tapa loka today we are going to discuss about the seventh and the final heavenly planet brahma loka also known as satya loka this Satya Loka or Brahma Loka is the final heavenly planet to reach which every human living entity who has turned self-realized or liberated aims at. It, in other words, every self-realized or liberated soul wishes. to reach this particular loka ultimately after he or she gets delivered and thus inhabit this brahma loka this brahma loka is actually the abode of none other than the four headed brahma the creator of this universe according to swami mukunda nanda just like we have our own four headed brahma who has created our universe there are several brahmas with several heads some five some 10 some 1000 some 1 lakh etc who have created and are living in their own universes let us not confuse ourselves with those brahmas let us think and talk about our own brahma our 400 brahma the creator of our universe is one of the triumvirate the primeval gods in our case these three gods are as follows brahma the creator 
Vishnu, the administrator or maintainer, and Shiva, the ultimate destroyer in the form of time, the ultimate annihilator. Brahma is a very exalted and superior position in so in the in so much so that Lord Hanuman, who we venerate and worship, who was the companion of Lord Rama in Ramana, is going to become another Brahma in another age. After this, Brahma passes on to another universe or to create another universe. In other words, Lord Hanuman will create a universe of his own as Brahma. This has been declared by Cosmos. Now, there are two types of devotees. One who want to attain the spiritual cosmos effulgence of Brahman, which is in the Brahma Loka, and the other who want to get delivered and go to Godhead, go back to Godhead, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. According to Lord Krishna in Srimad Bhagavad Gita, though attaining Brahman is a very exalted and superior position, yet for human beings and living entities like us, it may seem quite confusing and very turn about in the sense that we will find the root quite circuitous to reach that place. Further, it is quite complicated for people like us. On the contrary, those devotees who want to get delivered and go back to the Supreme Personality of Godhead may reach the same ultimate position but in another way. Now, in the Kundalini, there are seven chakras. Six we have already discussed about. This Brahma Loka or Satya Loka is connected to the thousand petal lotus called Sahasrara Chakra, which is at the crown of the head of any human living entity. The Brahman, the cosmos, and the equality that we worship as people of Sahasrara Chakra are connected directly or indirectly with the Brahma Loka. That cosmos equality, that sublime equality, the knowledge that all of us are soon to each other through a thread is something that is very evident when we become devotees of attaining the supreme effulgence of Brahman. In other words, people who reach the Sahasrara Chakra through their meditation get self-realized, liberated, and also get delivered through the crown of the head of a human living entity and reach Brahman. However, as I repeated before, it is quite circuitous, complex, and difficult for people like us who are embodied spirits, and so we may not be able to understand this. Brahma Loka is supreme, but for people like us, 
it is easier to aim at going back to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna or Lord Vishnu. Kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this particular matter. Please give me your own priceless opinions, thoughts and ideas so that I may take them and blend them, blend them with my own theories and come up with something which is beneficial to all of us in this society. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that I may keep reminding you of my other videos. Till we meet next time in my next video, it is good morning from TSV Raghavan.